Hello everyone, Rich here, back for part 5 of this RMS Lusitania tutorial. Uh, today's focus is the ship's forecastle details, uh, some superstructure details, masts, and some other crap that I can think of along the way. So, uh, we're going to focus on the forecastle first, which is this deck here on the front of the ship. Um, and we're going to start on there, which I've already said. And we're going to start uh, going to the front wall of the superstructure. So, the, the, the forecastle deck is there, and we go to the front wall of the superstructure, which is this wall here. I'm just going to add a single row of windows, go from right to left or left to right, whichever way, uh, down at uh, one block above the deck, and uh, preferably start in the middle. So put a middle window and then sort of a window every other block going around to the side. So basically like that. So it's center window and then one, two, three, four out to the side there. Same the other side. We're just placing these at random really because uh, there's no real uh, design really. So. Anyway, there we go, there's uh, the nine windows across the front there. And then we do the same on the next deck above as well. So, underneath the bridge wheelhouse, just put, uh, say, centre window. And then, sort of, one, two, three out to the side. And one, two, three out to the other side. Because it's on a, on a, uh, a stubborn curve, uh, the windows are not really going to be needed on the corners. And also, what I've done between this video and the previous one, I, I have added all the doors and windows to the uh, superstructure down the side there. You can see just doors, random windows, doors, windows, doors, windows, all the way down the side and across the back as well. So that's that deck done there. I've also done the other side as well. So uh, that's all fine there. So anyway, that is the uh, front of the superstructure done. We will come back to this later on, but I just want to focus on the folks all now. Uh, so what we're going to do is go back to the front wall, and what we're going to do is leave a two-block gap on the centre. So this is the centre block there, and on, on then we're going to leave a two-block gap forward. So count to the third block forward on the wood, and then we're going to add a cargo hatch, which is five wide. So that's a centre block plus two either side like that, and the sides are three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then across like so. And then we'll add slabs for the cover. Very small cargo hatches on this ship, but. No one's complaining. And then across the middle, just add a line like so. so. There we are. There's our first cargo hatch like that. And then what we want to do is uh, add a mech now. Now these mechs are basically a combination of black blocks, but they're, they're, they're meant to represent the, the machinery which connects all the rigging up. So uh, from the front wall of the uh, cargo hatch, what we're going to do is on the center, go one block to the side, and then build forward three in black. So one, two, three there. And one, two, three there, and then add one, two, three, four, five across the top like so. So it's basically, well, that really, but it, it connects all. It's sort of a poly system connecting all the rigging to the mast when the mast is in place. So that's what that's for. And then what we want to do then is leave from the front two blocks of the uh, of the mech go two blocks forward, and we shall add our mast. And the mast is four rows of 15, so up 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and you can do this in any colour you want, but I'm doing it in yellow, uh, for no real reason, but there we go, sort of a shippy colour, so that's the first 15 there, and what another 3 15, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and one more, one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And there we go, there's our mast in place there. And then about 8 down from the top, go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, build out 3, 1, 2, 3. Same the other side, 1, 2, 3. And then same again, 5 down, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, build out, uh, build out 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And... One, two, three, four, five, six, and there we go. There's that little bit of detail done there. Not accurate to the real ship, but it does look quite good. Um, and then on the say roughly five blocks up on the second fifteen, so you've got the bottom fifteen there. Go to the second fifteen and go about five or six blocks up. So two, three, four, five, which will add the crow's nest. So we'll basically on the side go three. No, yes, the go two forward. Sorry one and then two forward there like that and then with stairs as I caught stairs there which will add some upside down stairs around the edge like so and then on top of that we'll add a wall around 
on top of those stairs like so. Ooh, like that, and there you go, there's your crow's nest. Kind of looks more like a bathtub, but there you go. So there's our crow's nest up there. And then for the derricks and small crane sections for the mast, we're going to go right down to the bottom again. And then on the, hang on, we want fifth block up, so one, two, three, four, five, and, that, and one out to the side. So put a block out to the side there, and another block out to the side there. And from these two end blocks, we're going to build forward 26. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Like so do the same on the other side. So I want 26 again. Like so. And then at the ends, it's up to you if you want to do this, but I usually put a couple of black blocks in the ends like so. Don't know why, it just makes it look a bit more interesting. Uh, so there's those two poles there. And then behind those two poles, back back at the mast, we're going to go uh, one block up and add another block out to the side, each side like so. And we're going to build upwards. And these are going to be three rows of six, basically. So from this block here, we go up for six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six. And at the end, add another black block. And do the same on the other side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And a black block at the end, like so. So these things, they're optional really. If you want them to go up like that, you can. But sometimes, when I build ships, they tend to go out diagonally out to the side. But because there's not a lot of room between the mast and the superstructure, building them out diagonally will be a bit of a, bit of a pain. So I've built them going upwards. But... Uh, it's completely up to you how you want to interpret that. Just bear with me now while I uh, adjust my notes. Right, so what we're going to do now is to add two vents. Now we're going to go back to the mast and we're going to count uh, how do we do this? Well, about six out from the no, seventh block out from the mast. So from the mast, build out or we'll count out seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we'll add our vent, which is one, two, three high, plus stairs on the top. And a block going back like so. And I think on the prototype I built these in yellow, but I'm going to build them in white for today. So there's one out that way and then one on the other side as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Build up three, plus stairs on the top. And a block going back like so. So there's those two vents like that. And what we want to do now is go back to the mast. We want to add a stairwell. So go back to the mast and we want a, a count to the tenth block forward. So one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we're going to build three wide, and the sides are three as well. Uh, well, actually, they're two. So build them two, three wide, two like so, and then the the, the back wall build three high, like so. And this bit here would be a doorway, like so. So it's, it's sort of out of scale, but that would be a door a doorway downstairs. So you go through the door here and go down the stairs, but because it's not scaled very well, it's uh, an odd shape, but uh, yeah, so that's what that would be, so the door on the back wall there, and then we add stairs going down uh, like so like that, and then fill in the side gaps as well, so it's basically a, a half pyramid if you like like so, so yeah, a, a, a faux stairwell if you like, so that is uh, that job there, and then behind that stairwell we want to uh, leave or count to the fourth block forward again. So behind that stairwell, count four forward. So one, two, three, four. And we want to build another hatch. So it's another five wide hatch. Like so, and the sides are three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then across the front. And then we add the slabs again on the top. Like so, and then one line down the middle. So there's our hatch there. And then uh, we want to leave a one block gap for in front of that and we add a second mech so one forward and one to the side go one two three and one two three one two three two three four five across the top like so so it's another pulley system basically uh, and then we leave a two block gap so from those two prongs there go one two and then the third block forward we do the same again so another mech like so same design and it should look something like that. Got a big jumble of bits going all the way forward now. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and now what we want to do now is 
from that from the two front prongs of the mech we're gonna leave uh, or count to the fifth block forward so one two three four five and then uh, two to the side so one two out like that we build up three one two three same the other side two hang on center and one two out and one two three up and then three across one two three like that so basically a uh, sort of a football goal or monkey bar if you like and then we're going to add the anchor underneath that. Um, the anchor is six long, so underneath, just add the anchor one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one out to the side, one out to the side, and then one there, and one there. A very basic anchor, sort of an auxiliary anchor, and then we'll put a yellow block there, like so, to mark for something. And yeah, it's, it's I think it's a, the auxiliary anchor, uh, or extra anchor, whatever. Uh, same about Minecraft. I mean, from the depths, we actually got proper anchors. Where this thing is just sort of a, a lump of blocks in a vague design to make look 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 it look like an anchor. But uh, there we go. Uh, and then what we want to do then is go from the front of that anchor and count to the ninth block forward. So we go uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're going to add the crane. The crane is five high. So one, two, three, four, five. Depending on which way you want it facing, on the prototype I got it facing back, so I'm going to do the same again. In slabs, we just build uh, seven back, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the top like that, and then underneath we'll add our slabs diagonally down, down to the base like so. So there we are. There's our crane like that, uh, and yeah, that's basically that. I'm just going to work out what to do now. So that's the crane done. <coughs> and now we want to add the anchor chain. So we'll go back to the mast now. And how do we do this? We're going to go to back to the mast. And we're going to count to the third block out. So one, two, three. Uh, I'm just going to work out how to do this. We want a line of 40. And now this is sort of something that I'm trying to work out here. So we want a line of 40. So if I... Uh, cut into the deck a line of 40 like so so we're just, just going to lay a base plate basically so 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 uh, make it 42, so 41, 42 like that. So there we are, there's our base plate added. It's basically a line of black blocks and then, or into the uh, cut into the deck. So I'll do the same on the other side. It's just what, a line of 40. I'll, I'll cut the deck first and then I'll, I'll line the uh, the base. So it was the third block out from the from the, uh, from the the mast. So there's the mast, one, two, three out. And I'll just replace the gap with black blocks without falling in. <coughs> and there we go there's our two lines there and then for the for the chains themselves uh, I used what did I use I used cobblestone stairs no stone brick stairs sorry and what I do I put one that way and one that that way and then that way that way and you get the idea so sort of every other block you put one facing one way and then in between have them facing the other way on the prototype I actually used uh, stone brick slabs, but I'm using proper stairs this time. So that's one side facing one way. So I just add the rest of them like so. And they do, from a certain angle, look like um, chain links, but uh, Minecraft hasn't got chain links yet. And once again, though, from the depths it does have chain links. So there we go. So that's uh, the chain links added there. I just do the other side. I do. Uh, every other block facing one way and then every other block facing the other way you get the idea where this is going and once again if you're going to be building this as part of a downloadable project uh, video on YouTube uh, social media posts and things like that or conversion to other games then of course don't forget to leave credit for the original design that's me or designer I spend many hundreds of hours building these and sometimes I get fuck all in terms of credit so 
it does annoy me a little bit so that's all I ask a bit of credit for the design and I'll leave you in peace uh, so there we go anyway that's the two sets of chains in place and then either end of the chain just add black blocks like in C's like so you know a C shape around the end of the chain there either side and do the same the other side so back to the the mast end add the chains around like that and then the same the other side there we go there's those chain things added there and then we're going to add the cap stands or windlasses we're going to add one roughly halfway down the length of the chain so you've got the chains either side and roughly halfway down the length so sort of parallel with the uh the middle cargo hatch you're going to go sort of two blocks out to the side and add four black blocks there like so and then we're going to get our railway track and add that on top like so so it makes it look like uh, a turny wheel thing so i do the same on the other side so either side of the cargo hatch we want this design and with our railway track as well and it don't look too bad just a bit of extra detail and then uh <clears throat> i want to go back to the mast and I'm just going to look at the prototype just so I get an idea. And what we want to do is go to the end of the, uh, or basically behind the vents here. So you've got these two vents here either side of the mast. And go about three blocks forward of that and do the same again. So three blocks forward and then add another pair of windlasses. Like so, so the windlass there. And then the same on the other side. So three blocks forward. One, two, three. Do, 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 do. And then track on the top. There we go. So there's our two windlasses this, this things there, or four of them basically, and uh, it should look something like that. Now for the extra details we're going to add the bollards, right, actually we'll do the handrails first, um, and we'll just scratch me eye, All right, and we're going to get our handrails which are iron bars basically, and we're going to deck out our uh, ship there, so we're going to go to the front of the, uh, not quite the front of the forecastle, but uh, the last, or the first block of deck level. Because we've got the uh, the prow of the ship goes up a few blocks, so roughly there, just in front of the mast or behind the mast. I'm gonna start adding our handrails, and as you can see, when I'm adding the handrails along the edge, they're actually going underneath or on top of wood blocks. And this annoys me. And if you're familiar with my builds, I tend to remove the wood blocks and replace them with white blocks, so that the, the handrails actually sit on top of all the white blocks. So I'm gonna quickly replace all the wood blocks in the corners there with white blocks, so that the handrails have something. Uh, something normal to sit on and just do this all the way down to the side there and then add the handrails on top of the uh, of the white along the side like so and it don't look too bad of course once again from the depths has all the decent handrails Minecraft only has iron bars but there we go that's uh that's one side of the folks all done i'll do the same the other side just quickly get that out of the way so i shall replace uh and place well, i'll place the wood blocks where they're needed or the white blocks where they're needed not the wood ones and then i should add the handrails going from front of the or back of the folks all to the front of the folks all And there we go, that's the uh, Folksall deck details almost done. One more job to do with the Folksall is to add the bollards, which I uh, nearly forgot. So once again, what we're going to use is the anvils. These are quite good for the uh, bollards. Now I'm going to place three pairs of these down the side, but I'm gonna, only going to place them at random. But as long as they're close to the uh, the handrails on the side, it should be okay. So I'll put a, a couple just by the, the crane there on the bow, and then one pair roughly halfway along, like so, and then another pair towards the superstructure just there so there's three pairs on the forecastle on one side and let's do the other side as well so a pair of folk, uh, bollards there and then the other pair just here and then the other pair just by the end of the forecastle there and there we go there's the uh, and that's pretty much all the forecastle details doing um, I don't think I've missed anything out there may be some extra details you want to add yourself it's entirely up to you uh, but uh, there we go, that is uh, sort of all I'm wanting to do with the folks all. 
Uh, so that's that. So what we're going to do, one more job before I uh, do a jump cut, is it's just going to add a dividing line between the bridge wings and the superstructure up here. If you look on the prototype, you can just see where the crosshairs are, you can just see a black line underneath the wheelhouse. Now that's basically slabs really. I'm going to use, I don't I can't remember what they are actually, they're dark coloured slabs. Um, is it that colour? I think they're nether brick slabs, they're the darkest ones available. And the only reason for that line is just to create a dividing line. The, the Lusitania did have a sort of line design, or not a line as such, but uh, I don't really know what to explain, but it's sort of a, a what well, is a line really? It's not a stripe, but a line just makes it, so you can see the different, well, the, the connecting line between the the, the bridge we, uh, the bridge wings and the superstructure below. So underneath the bridge wings on the side, it's going to add some slabs going out to the side like so, so it's, it's basically, or from the from underneath the bridge wings, just go across the front of the superstructure like so, underneath the bridge wings to about there like so, and it should look something like that, it's, it's the only thing I could think of to create the design, but, uh, so you can see it on the prototype over there, and this is basically what it is, it just creates, at certain angles it creates a dividing line between the bridge wings and the superstructure and what you can do is just build that line all the way underneath the bridge wings until you get to a certain point <laughs> like so I do the same on the other side out to the side like so there we go that'll do so that's uh, that little job done there and I think we can call it a day with that so I'm going to leave the uh, folks on now and what I'm going to do I'm gonna do a jump cut, work out what, and uh, yeah, work out what to do next. I'm gonna go for a P as well, um, and then we shall move on from there. So, uh, yeah, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So, what we're gonna do now is move to the back end of the ship, and we're gonna work our way forward. Uh, we're gonna start with the mast on the stern, and then we're gonna move forward to build the superstructure details, like skylights, vents, and things like that. If we look over on the prototype, there, you just see the mast there. And on the top of the deck, we're going to add all those, or at least most of those brown buildings along the top of the superstructure. So we'll start at the back end, and we'll move our way forward. So starting back here, we're going to go right down to the, the ship's main deck. So underneath the back of the superstructure down here, we're going to go to this back wall down here. So this is the main deck, and this is the back of the superstructure. And we're going to go from the centre block, we're going to count back to the eighth block back. So there's the first block, so that's five, six, seven, and eight. The eighth block, we're going to build our mast. And that is four rows of 15 again. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then about three or four down from the top, build out three either side. And then roughly about six or seven down from there, build out six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. So there we go. There's our mast done there. Uh, you might want to increase it in height slightly because the mast on the forecastle is about four blocks higher than the mast on this area here because of the way the decks are laid out. So the forecastle is about four blocks higher than, or five, is it four? Four or five blocks higher than where we are here. So you may want to add five extra blocks to the top. It's up to you how you want to do that, if you want to do that. Uh, so there we go. Right, we're gonna, what we're going to do now is move forward now to the end of the boat deck superstructure. So you've got the boat deck superstructure here, and we're on this section uh, on this uh, platform here, which is one block lower than the main panel there. So the, uh, that's five high. This is four high. So we're going to go to the back. Now go to the front wall of this, uh, the front point, so roughly where it connects to the higher section. And we're going to get our brown blocks first. Uh, we need. What do we need? We need dark oak wood planks, which is always handy, and then dark wood or dark oak stairs, wherever they are. Uh, there, so that's what we need. So our planks and our stairs. So on the back corner here of the uh, raised section, we're going to build back eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There, like so. This is on the side. It's the same on the other side as well. And then it, it, yeah, it's at each end, sorry, we want to build in eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Same at the front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then join them together like so. And it should look something like that. And then what we want to do 
is one block from each end we add two blocks there and then one block from the other end add two blocks there so this is sort of the foundations for the pyramids so yeah there's two blocks there like so and two blocks there and then you're going to add the pyramids so we're going to add triangle up or stairs up and up and then stairs down and down stairs up and up stairs down and down so like, like that so it's basically creating two triangles like that or a pixelated pair of tits depending on what you want to think of <laughs> so it looks something like that and then you just want to add these stairs all the way across the length or the width rather of the uh, of the building we just built so I've done the foundations just add the add the stairs going all the way across the building like so and it's the same on the other side like I say so from the other side you do that same 8x8 eight eight design and it should all look fine when it's done so I'll just quickly add the add these stairs as and where I can so there's half the pyramid done I'll just add the blocks in there and I should do the pyramid <coughs> going from the other side so and these bloody stairs are a pain to put in place and there we go that's that side and this last section here and trying to get into position in the right place is a pain in the ass but there we go and there we go that's the uh, the two sets of pyramids like so so you do the same the other side in exactly the same position so what I'll do I'll do a, a copy paste because I cheat a little bit uh, copy to that point there and I don't know where the center line is so I have to stand on that there we are so there's the center line so I'm just going to quickly copy that to that side so I do uh, copy flip to the right and then we paste and there we go there's the other side so there's the two sets of pyramid buildings like that and uh, yeah it should look something like that um, so what we want to do now is go to the back wall of the uh, lower panel here. So this back wall of the deck here, of the deck house rather, or superstructure. And we're going to go on the wood. We're going to go to the fourth block forward. So one, two, three, four. And we're going to build uh, nine wide with the uh, oak wood planks. So that's the centre block plus four either side. So one, two, three, four that way. One, two, three, four that way. And the sides are four. So one, two, three, four and one two three four and then across like so and then increase to two blocks high so two blocks high all the way around like so it should look something like that and what we want to do now is sort of add a skylight but not very well detailed one so what we're going to do is on the sides we're going to add three blocks on the sides plus one at the top like that so it's so the sides are five, and you just add three blocks, and then one on the top like that. Same the other side, add one, two, three, plus one on the top. And then from those two single blocks at the top, we're going to join them together across like so. And then, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do this. From the ends, I'm going to add stairs like that, and then stairs like so. Creates a sort of half pyramid, and then sort of I think every other block add a set of stairs, so you've got a sort of... Uh, sort of shape like that if you know what I mean not very well de detailed or designed but uh, that's what's, what we're trying to achieve so put stairs in place like so and it should look <laughs> something like, sort of like a toast rack really it's uh, not a very well uh, thingy to building but there we go and uh, yeah it should look something like that don't quote me on that but there we go and then what we want to do now is to add some vents. Now we're going to go from the back corners of the uh, of the deck house of the uh, panel. I'm trying to work out where these go. Uh, if we go from the back corners, like I was saying, go, sort of go diagonally two in. So on the wood, go one, two in, and build. Then build the vents three high. So one, probably a blocks. So one, two, three high, plus stairs and a block forward, like so. And I think actually, preferably, I think. Black, uh, brown concrete would be better for these because uh, these brown. Uh, I'll bugger it. Yeah, use brown concrete. For, no, actually, no. Sorry, you have to use blocks because we haven't got any uh, concrete stairs. So yes, yeah, carry on using the the, the, the brown wood. It uh, 
yeah, I don't have concrete stairs, do it, and then mind it anyway. One, two, three up from the other side, and then one forward, stairs, and one forward, like so. So you've got those two vents there, like that. And then between the two pyramid sections on here, you're going to add two vents either side as well, so roughly, uh, so say, I don't really know, roughly halfway along the side of the building, and then sort of three blocks in, one, two, three, four up, plus stairs, and one forward. Same the other side, uh, one, two, three, four, stairs, and one forward. So there's two sets of, of events there like that. And then on the, on, actually on the pyramids themselves, we're going to remove one set of stairs and add a vent going up, one, two, three up like so, then stairs, and one. I'm only placing these at random because I don't actually have the details of where these go, but uh, I put a, a vent on top of the pyramids there like so, and that is... Uh, the fourth block in from the end, so one, two, three, four. Do the same, one, two, three up, stairs, and a block forward, like so. And that is pretty much all the details for uh, that panel there. Just looking across to the prototype. Um, and then what we can do now is, is around, the, uh, around the outside, we can add the handrails. So we get our iron bars, and we should add our handrails around the base or around the top of this raised. Uh, well, I saw basically. So just add our handrails like so. And it should look something like that. So that is the uh, that area done there. And what we're going to do now is go to the back wall now of, this, of the raised section. So just in front of those two pyramid buildings here, you've got this back wall of the raised section. So, <coughs> excuse me, what we're going to do then is, it, is with our black, uh, brown or dark oak wood planks. We're going to build our back wall here seven wide, so on the centre block put one there and then three out to the side, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then the sides we want twelve, so we're going to build forward twelve, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, same the other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, join them together across the front, so you've got a rectangle building like that, and then you're going to double that in height so it's two blocks high all the way around like so and it should look something like that and then on the ends uh, like similar to what we did uh, with the other buildings we're going to add uh, how do we do this we're going to add one two three four five blocks across like that and then one two three on the top like that so it's five five and then three on the ends do the same on the other sides, or the, or the back end, so add one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, like that. So you've got uh, both ends like that, and then we're going to use our stairs again. Uh, add stairs and stairs, and then every... Actually, we're going to add the centre line as well, so where we add, just, just added those three blocks along the tops. We're going to add a line of blocks going from front to back to create a sort of spine, like so. And then every other block, like we did with the, uh, the back deck house, we're going to add stairs... Uh, actually, I'm going to add block every other block first, to, so we can attach the stairs to that. So there's our blocks like that, and then we add stairs like so. And apologies for not explaining this very well. There we go. There's our stairs added there, and the stairs on the back wall as well. And it should, in theory, look something like that. It's a much bigger toast rack, if you like. So do the same on the other side. We'll add our blocks along the spine like so, and then we add our stairs. Like so. And it should look something like that. So there we are, that's that deck house done there. <coughs> Excuse me, and it should sort of look like that. And you can go on the inside if you want to and sort of delete all this area in here, because this is sort of an open skylight for the deck below. Uh, so if you want to remove all the wood blocks in here, and then uh, that will open up the area below. So if I just remove all the wood decking inside here, and it's sort of a sort of like the grand staircase on the Titanic, but uh, not quite as uh, pompous, if you know what I mean. And there we go. So it's sort of, it's like I say, it's sort of a, a skylight to up above. So what we we'll do to add to, to make the detail a bit more. Oh piss! Didn't mean to do that. I mean, so to make the detail. Uh, a bit better. We'll remove the blocks underneath the foundation and just add the brown blocks around the base, like so. 
and then up the other side as well. Preferably without doing any damage. And there we go, that's the uh, planking all done. So it just uh, blends in with the rest of the uh, structure. So yeah, like I say, it's sort of a an open skylight area for the uh, lower deck. So that is that one done there. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a jump cut when I work out the position of the next ones. And then we shall uh, go from there. So uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So what we're going to do now is add the uh, next two skylights. like Similar to this one we've done just a moment ago. So what we're going to do now is go to the front wall of this uh, upper deck house skylight thing. So go to this front centre block. We're going to count forward to the 44th block forward. So on the centre block at the front, we're going to count forward 44. So I shall use measuring as I do that. So that's 20, 30, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's 44th block there. And we're going to build basically the same again. So it's going to be 9 wide. So that's center plus one two three four that way one two three four that way and the sides this time are 14 so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen same the other side one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and join them together across the front and then double it in height all the way around so it's two blocks high all the way around Like so, and then along the front wall and back wall, we add f uh, what is it? Five, I think. One, two, three, four, five, seven. Sorry, six, seven, <laughs> and then five. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, I think this is a different shape to the last one, isn't it? Yeah, the last one is only seven wide, so this one's nine wide. So we add the same again. So it's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then five. One, two, three, four, five. So it should look something like that. So yeah, that, that one over there was 9 wide, wasn't it? No, 7 wide, so this one's 9. <laughs> no big deal, this is uh, it's how it is. And then, uh, once we've done that, we'll add the centre spine. Like so, going across from front to back. And then every other block, we add 2 blocks out to the side to create ribs on the spine. Like so, and then on the spine part, on the rib parts, you actually add the stairs going down, like so. So like I say, it's the same design basically as the one over there, but slightly upscaled, so it's not a big deal. So there we are, there's that side, side done there. Do the same this side, add the two block ribs out to the side, and then we add the stairs, like so. And if you want to, the same again underneath, you can remove the inside wood decking so that the skylight goes down to the deck below. But uh, there's the uh, skylight added there. And like I just said, you can you can you can remove all the wood blocks in here, so you can have the skylight going down. But it's up to you. Right, so that was uh, that one done there. So what we're going to do now? Go to the front wall again of the deck house we just built. This big thing here, of course, and we're going to count to the twenty seventh block forward. So on the wood again, on the deck, we're going to count forward on the centre twenty seven forward. So I'm going to go that's ten. 20 and then two three four five six seven so on the 27th block we're going to build a shed which is uh i don't know we're going to build a center block anyway and it's going to be 13 wide so that is uh six other side so one two three four five six that way one two three four five six that way the sides are going to be four so one two three four forward like that and then one two three four that way and then across the front, join them together. So you've got a rectangle shed like so. So it looks something like that. And then you increase it in height to uh, four blocks high. So four high all the way around. And it should all be okay. So it's basically just a long shed. No real thingy what for it. I don't know what it's for. It's probably access and entrance to and probably equipment storage as well. So just build it four high anyway all the way around. Like so, and then we can add the roof. Like so, and there we are. There's the uh, little shed done there. Well, I say little shed. There's a bloody huge shed. 
but uh, that's that thing there and then in front of that we're going to go to the centre block of the front wall of this building now and I don't know where the centre block is so I think it's that one there I'll put a colour block to mark the centre if that's a colour block um, now what we're going to do is leave a, leave a single block gap from the front wall and we're going to build the same design skylight as before so it's going to be 9 wide so centre block plus 1, 2, 3, 4 that way 1, 2, 3, 4 that way and we're going to build the sides towards the front so the sides are 14 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then across the front. And then increase in height to two blocks high. All the way around. It's the same design as before, so you add the spine as well. Well, build the ends up to seven and then five. I'll do that as when I get there. So just build the front. So it's two high like that, and then we add the seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and five, one, two, three, four, five, like that. Same on the back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, and then the spine down the centre, like that, and then every other block, add a two block rib cage, like so. Like that, and then we add the ribs, uh, the the stairs for the ribs. Sorry. And then the same the other side. And there we go. There's that skylight done there. And you can do the same again. Remove the insides and. Uh, you can have the skylight going down to deck uh, the next deck level, but it's up to you how you want to do that. Um, and that is pretty much it for the uh, superstructure top four today. I'm gonna, there are still more uh, smaller skylights and deck houses to add, but we're going to leave that for now. I'm going to go on and start adding the vents. <coughs> Excuse me, and the vents are different to that of Mauritania. Um, these are sort of basically drums, really. But uh, what we'll do, I'm going to work on the left hand side, but it's the same on both sides. So going to go to the ship's wheelhouse which is here and you've got the stairs on the side and then uh, sort of a couple of blocks back from the stairs you're going to add a cross preferably in the right colour so you add a cross like that and you're going to build that three high like so so basically they're meant to be round but of course they don't really have round things in minecraft so we're going to <laughs> build it uh, as a cross like so and in reality these drums would have a cover sort of like that but uh, we're going to leave the covers off anyway so there's our first uh, drum slash vent there and what we're going to do is count back from there to the uh, 12th block back so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and do the same again so add a cross and then build it 3 high like so, so there's our second cross and then you're going to add, I think there's nine in a total of these, so that's the first two. Uh, so every every one after this second one are going to be every uh, every oh, was every nineteenth block. So do the same thing again, nineteen block back, ninety blocks back. So that's ten, eighteen, nineteen. So on the nineteenth block, we'll do the same again, like so, and then again nineteen blocks back. To that point there, we'll do the same again. And then again, 19 blocks back. I think, like I said, there should be 9 of these in total. So that's 19 back there, and do the same again. So how many is that? That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we want 4 more. So 19 blocks back again. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 there, and do the same again. So it's basically an 18 block gap between each, so it's every 19th block, basically. So that's 6, I think. So do the same again, 19 back. So how many is that? That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so I want 2 more. So 19 back again. And 
and then one more 19 again there we go there we go there's all nine down one side like I said they're very different to Mauritanians Mauritanians are more traditional shaped vents and uh, if I just warp to uh, warp to Mauritanians so I get an idea on how they look on that I can't actually spell Mauritania right now I just spell it it's with an E there we go right so we're at Mauritania and here's the build that we've done in 2018 and you can see the vents on Mauritania are a different shape so where have we got brown stumps on the Lusitania here we've got the full SP with the uh, the vents on Mauritania so that's the, that's the difference anyway and uh, so that's that so I'll just quickly warp back to uh, where we were uh, so there we go right so that's uh, that's Lusitania stumps basically so that's that's the ones on that's nine anyway on one side so you do the same on the other side so you got nine one side nine the other so I shall just quickly copy these to the other side so there should be nine down each side of uh, the superstructure. So just quickly copy this to the front of the bridge. And I'm getting a bit of lag going on here. That's probably my fault. So we do quickly copy, flip to the right, and then we paste. And there we go. There's our nine vents down the other side. And it should look something like that. So like I said, they're only basic stumps. And it does sort of let the side down because Lusitania's superstructure vents were... A very different design but hey ho there we go at least, at least you can tell the two apart anyway when they're side by side because Mauritania had the big vents Lusitania did not anyway that's that done anyway so you've got 18 vents done in total nine down each side now there will be a couple more towards the stern as well but when we get the funnels in place in the next video we'll uh, get those uh, other vents in place so I don't want to do too much on the top until like I say get the vents uh, get the funnels in place and then uh, everything should be a bit, a bit simpler Anyway, what we're going to do now, last job for today, is to go to the open promenade on the side. So we're on the left-hand side again. Uh, we'll go to the top open promenade, which is this area here. And uh, what we're going to do, we're going to get our quartz stairs and just tidy up this area quickly. So I just put a stair block there to create the curve. And we'll do the same on the deck below to the lower promenade. So add a stair block there so it creates a subtle curve. And then we'll go back to the top promenade and we're going to add windows which are going to be single blocks basically so from the front portion of the open promenade we're going to count sort of three blocks or four blocks forward and then we're going to add nine pairs of two windows so I add a pair of windows like so and then every fifth block so one two three four five add another pair and then one two three four five add another pair so it should be nine pairs so that's three three so far so one two three four five add another pair one two three four five add another pair so how many is that that's one two three four five there are one two three four five done so we want another four pairs so one two three four five add a pair 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 how many is that that is uh, one pair, two pair, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's nine pairs down the side like that. And you can, if you want to, you can make it ten pairs because we've got a bit of a gap between the front of the superstructure and the last pair. So one, two, three, four, five. Add our tenth pair. There we go. So there's ten pairs of windows along the side like that. And that's from the top open promenade like so. And then what we do then is go to the lower promenade. And we'll do the same sort of thing again, but this time we want, say, call it 14 pairs of windows, sort of the same design basically. So one, two, three, four, five forward, add our pairs. So that's one pair, and then two pairs. I'm counting as I go along, so every fifth block again. So that's two pairs, three pairs, four pairs, five pairs. And then six pairs. And then seven pairs. Eight pairs. Nine pairs. Ten pairs. And then eleven pairs. Twelve pairs. 
13 pairs. And yeah, I say, I say I said 14, but 13 would probably be the right amount. So you've got 13 pairs along there like that, and then basically after that last 13, you're going to want to add single windows every fifth block along the folks or so. One, two, three, four, five, add a window. And like I say, every fifth block, add a window all the way along the folks or until you get to the tip of the bow. And as before, it's the same on both sides, so just carry on doing the same design and then copy on the other side. So just add these windows all along the forecastle, like so. Until you get to the end, so roughly about there. So there we are, there's our windows all the way along. And it just adds a little bit of extra detail, so that is that little job done there. So like I say, what I'll do, I'll quickly copy that to the other side so you can see all the windows there it's not accurate again again you know again it's not accurate to the real ship but uh, this is sort of my layout and I'm gonna stick with it so there we go so like I say, I'm gonna quickly copy this to the other side and then uh, we move on from there or not really move on but we'll call it a day I think and go down to that point there and we do our usual copy flip paste and there's our windows on the other side so that is that little job done there <coughs> excuse me and uh, like I say we can call it a day now so we're going to leave it at that so we've got the forecastle deck and other details done I say it's not a lot done but uh, this, the ship's definitely taking shape uh, so that's part is it part 5 we're done today? I can't remember anyway whatever the next part is I think part 6 um, what we'll do I'll get the funnels in place and finish off the details on the top of the superstructure and then uh, probably start on the stern deck house because there's a bit of there's, uh, two decks of superstructure to go on the stern so that's something we can do in part six or seven but as long as I get the funnels out of the way uh, it should be sort of on the home stretch then so uh, I'm gonna leave it as that so this is part five done <gasps> I think and then uh, yeah we'll come back in part six so like I say this is rich calling it a day now so that's part five over with so this is me signing off logging off disappearing and i shall return in part six i think so uh bye for now